Hello everyone. Today we will talk about the Python collections module. For this one, it is in Python functioning as a container that I use to store collections of data such as list, dict, dictionary, set, tuple, etc. Python collections module was introduced to improve the functionalities of the built-in collection containers. It has like a counter, named tuple, ordered dict or default dict, dq, and chain map. Let's first look at the counter. Counter is a subclass of dictionary object. The counter function in collections module takes an irritable or a mapping as the argument and returns a dictionary. In this dictionary, a key is an element in the iterable or the mapping and the value is the number of times that elements exist in the iterable or the mapping. First, you need to import it from the collections import counter. Here we have a string here. Then let's count the string. So we know B seven times, A six times, and C there. And the type is a string. And we also can print all the items here. And for all the items, at least like here. And then we can get all the keys, their values, the most common values. One means the first one. Two of the most two common values is B and A. This is return a list of tuple. If you want to access the particular value, you can use the 0, 0, 0 to access the B. You can also try to get all the elements, but if you only use this one, you'll get some kind of uh, chain objects there. So you better make it a list. Now you can get all the elements of this element. And later, then we will look at the named tuple. The named tuple returns a tuple with names for each position in the tuple. One of the biggest problems with the ordinary tuple is that you have to remember the index of each field of a tuple object. This is obviously difficult. The named tuple was introduced to solve this problem. First, you import the named tuple. For this tuple here, let's create a class point and with the two field x and y. So we say if all those values x and y are 3 and negative 4, when we print out, it will bring out what the elements are, like x equals 3 and y equals negative 4. You can also print out by use dot there to get the values. Another one is about the ordered this dictionary. So order dic is a dictionary where keys maintain the order in which they are inserted, which means if you change the value of a key later, it will not change the position of the key. So here we first import order dic from the collection module, and then we create an empty order dictionary and we assign those values a, b, c, d equals 1, 3, 5, 7. When we print out, this is the value. And then later, if we want to change the order, we have to do it again. Uh, for example, we put a here, so this is a new order. For the ordinary dictionary, you can also achieve the same kind of thing here. So for the default dig, it's uh, working exactly like the Python dictionary, but except uh, like it does not throw key errors when you try to access a non-existing key. So first you have to import the default dictionary. And let's say if we assign the default type to be integer, here we have two elements in the dictionary A and the B. But if we want to access F, it will give zero. So if you use floating as the default type, then it will get 0, 0.0. .0. If you use list, then it will give you an empty list. And here, then 
if you use ordinary dictionary, you access it, it will get key error here. For the DQ is a list optimized for inserting and removing items. So first, let's import this one. This you can think of it as a up double-ended queue. It can be used to end or remove elements from both sides. Here we have a DQ here. We can append one, two in it. So it has one, two in it. We can append left three. So on the left side, end three. So you can pop out the last element. So there is no two here compared with this one. And here you can also and uh, pop to the left one. So in this case, there will be no three. You can all clear this element. So there will be nothing there. For this one, you can also like extend some values there. So after all this existing one, you can end those four, five, six, seven at the end as an extension of that. Also, you can extend to the left side. Here you just pay attention, the order will be four first, then five, six, seven there. You can also rotate it by one. So two will move to the beginning here. This is a new way. And also here, after that, you can try rotate two. So you can see one, two from here move to the front. Here, if we append that, you can also use negative one to change the order here. Chain map is used to, to like combine several dictionaries or mappings. It returns a list of dictionaries. So here we import the chain map here. We have two dictionaries and we can put them together as one here, as you said there. We can also add an A value here to get their value. And then you can get all the keys, their values. And also you can add another one there as a new child of that. So this is overall of the collection models. Thank you for watching. See you next time.